Look, there's Alex at work. Our first Brick Lane day back this year. Uh, we're at this um, warehouse. There's been a few forklift incidents. I'd say so, yeah. Yeah. We're doing this thing today. It's on. It's on. Um, it's on legs, and then it's been infilled after. There's another leg. See the difference. Lot work. It's been infilled and then bash with the pallet. So we've got to take this out. Oh, the creepy, creepy cellar with all the big spiders. And then we're just going to block it back up. It had a uh, one tie put in with nails, so we'll put a couple of bluebirds in that. But we're going to tie it in. But this is an independent pillar, so we don't want to disturb it. It's like a big solid pillar. We'll tie that end in, and we'll put the bluebird in the centre. So back to time lapse as always. Right, we've got, uh, we're going to take these two arms out, we're going to grind them out, and the concrete slopes we're going to have to cut the bottom blocks as well. They're a bit smaller so, but I can get underneath to, to cut from both sides so they should come out pretty easy.
All right, and that's that's me done. Just uh, patching up. Uh, it's Wednesday the 13th, I think. One of those days, but one of those rare days for us. Come in. We're inside. And what we're doing, we're inside a warehouse, which has had a bit of um, dull forklift damage again. And because it's near a fire door, this is a bit serious, so we've got to take this whole section out today. Up to the beam. That's a beam and a half, isn't it? So, top's got to come off, block work out, new block work, rebuild it. And then, I've got this handy light. We had, the, uh, we had the light, but we had to go and buy the battery and charge yesterday. Got a good deal on them at Wigan. So there's that to come, and we're going to try and patch that up a little bit. Try not to knock it all down. But again, this is the main section today. So we've got all our gear in, out the rain. Oh, we should have gone to get a bit wet getting rid of the block, but that's just going to be piled on a pallet outside to be gotten rid of after. So off we go. You grab that, I'll get these screws out. Okay, okay. I need to try and stand in a certain way so I don't shadow you. Oh, yeah. Just check your ends, they're all out. Um, there's one more, two more. And then the very end. Now if you take all the gear off the top of it. Kidoki. Shame there's no um nothing sticking out so we can hang this one. Yeah. Am I still filming? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right, just slide it to you. Alright. Yeah, we we'll need to get the multi tool on that. Oh. <sighs> Apologies for the sway camera while I'm uh, doing this, by the way. Right, we need the we need a metal. Oh I got him. Have a read up the metal ones. Where would it say? Just a picture there, look. Wood. Here you go. Yeah, that's the one. Oh. Let's rip these out of my ear then when I stood up. Oh, I don't like that, that bit. I'm not even listening to anything. <laughs> Just forgot to take them out. Yeah, the reason we're putting this, the reason we've got this is um, these are held together by rivets. Oh, <laughs> sorry. So we're taking this off in one piece, but it's attached to the next one by the rivet. Just look and reach that. Worked. This has only got one speed, doesn't it? I think so, yeah. yeah. Done. Now it should slide out. Let's just move this out of the way. Really. 
Um, one sec, let me just um Hey, it also makes for a good uh, camera stand this way. Oh yeah. Let's get these headphones off. Yeah. Box really shut. If we're experiencing technical difficulties, please stand by. Right, turn it on this edge. It's a bit stronger. On this edge. Yep. Okay. Now walk towards me with it. Oh, one sec. Back to me a bit. What? It's the it, the loose bits caught up on the uh, wire. There we go. Just don't bump the wire. Go Insulation. Man, you can reuse it, can't we? It's in good nick. Yeah, some of it's quite good. It doesn't take much knocking down. Well, it's not. You just have to lift it out. Right. Done with, um... Are we still on filming? Yep. Make sure we're not covering it with fire. Yeah. Well, knackered. Let's be careful that doesn't fall on us, we're taking it down. So we'll just take it down block by block and then we'll take it outside onto a pallet. At least you don't have to smash it down so it's all coming out in full blocks. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's get, a, let's get the sound match going. Uh, some, we can use some insulation again. We're going to get that put in a tongue bag. Yeah. Or some bags from home. So we're all down. Lifted the cavity tray up. Yeah, we're going to put, we're going to bed the damp just to give it half a chance. Not that a, a forklift truck banging a, a pallet against the wall is going to stop it. Um, yeah, we've got a few blocks ready drying out. I think the rest are being delivered later, so we can at least get a start. We'll get some sand brought round by the, with the forklift. And just to give you an idea how good these lights are, just kill that light out. There we go. Well. Like that. Got a good deal on this. We've got a five amp hour battery and the charger, dual charger for the 12 and 18 volt batteries for 90 quid. So yeah, made up with that. And we have another light, another 18 volt light back at the house that we haven't brought here. Got enough lights, I think, today. So we've got the, uh, the 12 volt light as well. 
It's got everything covered really. That's got the battery in from the uh, multi tool. Yeah. Right, let's get ourselves organised ready for a start. That's it, we're all set up. Got the mixer right the outside the door. Oh, it's just loading out. We've just been round to the uh, to the other side and got a ton bag. Of, got a barrel full of sand out of the ton bag. Put it in the back of the van. There's our rubbish. Neatly stacked on a pallet, ready to go away. And there's the. Uh, there's our mix ready to go around. It's a bit a lot of fetching and carrying messing about but it's good. Like I say, like I said, we're mainly indoors. Here's the ball, I need a uh, mask. Alright, okay. We arrived yesterday. Put it straight, that's it. Head up. The masks look great, but they're on our Teespring store, but I can't see anyone buying them because they're ridiculously expensive. I bought these two, it cost a fortune, so I understand if nobody wants to buy them, but they are good masks. They're like um, the proper cloth, so they can go in the washing machine and get washed. That's them. I like to go enough to get some, get a spot board and get some water. That's it.
that's it we're done we actually ran out of blocks as you can tell by the different colour I went off and got picked some up but obviously it's pouring down all day so they're soaking wet so it's very ugly but it's in a warehouse it's not supposed to be pretty it's never going to be seen behind the pallets as you can see that's what we're up against when it's up and it's straight that's the main thing we can always tidy it up a bit with a wire brush when we get when we come back but it's just too wet to do anything with and it's like five o'clock now so i'm not going to sit down till seven o'clock waiting for it to go off which is not going to go anyway you'll probably be able to join that tomorrow uh, oh yeah and we just tapped all this back into shape and pointed it up that's all they wanted to do on this side so that's us another one done Unfortunately, it's face work tomorrow, but it's going to rain again tomorrow. <laughs> so it could be another day off. Over and out.